Hey Geminis, it's Sunny, and this is your weekly horoscope for the week of March 9th, 2015. So, I finally upgraded for you guys, and I am in HD, so you guys should see me and my cards way, way, way much clearer. So, yeah, hopefully you guys like it. But, um, I saw a vision. It was really, really weird. It reminded me of, like, Alice in Wonderland, where, you know, they had the, uh, Spades and Hearts characters. But instead, it was like squares and um, like some weird triangle looking thing. It didn't look like the spades, but I don't know what the fuck it was. And it just felt like really creepy. And it kind of does tie in with, with my layout. And also, I saw an airplane. But I feel like some of you, like you feel really stuck when it comes to like a new beginning. It's like you guys feel it and you know a new beginning is heading your way. But you are just like, well, when is it going to happen? Like, what's going on? Be, like, please be patient, you know, with what's going on. I really feel like things are on hold for you guys. Because I feel like you guys need to realize something. Realize your worth. Realize what, you know, who you truly are. And your self-worth. Like, yeah, your self-worth and... You know, see that you are a diamond. Because my angels are showing me a diamond like this. So, I don't want to say, like, hold yourself up at a pedestal. But, you know, like, because that sounds weird. But, honor yourself pretty much. Like, yeah, hold yourself at a pedestal. Shit, like, you are, you know, who you are. So, be thankful and be proud of who you are, you know. And, um, honestly, I feel like you guys may want advice but you really don't want to listen to what people have to tell you it's like okay like for example you may be like what am i going to do with my boyfriend and then the person could be like oh, i need to leave him because he's cheating on you i saw him with becky blah 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 and it's like you don't want to hear it but you want to hear oh you're going to be okay just stick with him you know things are going to be good people are telling you what you need to hear for a reason like if you don't want advice don't ask for it pretty much so yeah also, I feel like you guys need to, you know, think logically with a lot of situations that's going on right now. Because I feel like some of you feel like you have your own back. And a lot of people are starting to turn on you. And you really just need to think. And, you know, like, think to yourself and ask your God and your angels, like, why is this happening? Like, like what's going on? I feel like you guys are, you know, gaining some opportunities because I am getting the death card with death that symbolizes, like, transformations and birth. Like I said, you guys are about to enter in this new chapter and you are getting some good blessings and people are seeing that and they don't want you to, you know, go through that. So, you may, you know, witness people, like, being really, really mean to you and, like, stabbing you in the back. But honestly, let these people go, you know? It, it may hurt, and you are going to feel like you're alone, and there's going to be a lot of broken promises, you know, heading your way. But this is, this is a life journey, you know. It's, it's not always going to be good. So, yeah, and because of this, this may, you know, put you guys in a really sucky mindset. And you may get kind of lazy, and you may lose the um, determination and the and, uh, motivation to move forward, you know, with your hopes and your dreams. And you... Like, I don't know, like, you guys just really going to be in this sucky mood, but don't, don't let this affect you. You know, like, please think about your future. Don't be in la-la land. Don't overeat, overspend, like, do drugs and smoke and drink. Like, don't do that, you know, because that's really going to hold you guys back even further. So, think about your future. Just ask your God and your angels, like, what's going on. And you will be okay. I really feel like you guys will be okay. Yeah, think logically. Be a little wise, Al. And be more secure and safe with yourself. But the two cards that I picked up for you guys was the Seven of Cups. Yeah, HD. <laughs> and the Magician. With the Seven of Cups. This talks about, like, don't, pretty much don't be in La La Land. You know, like, don't have any unrealistic expectations. Set your priorities. Get your priorities in order, in order for you to move forward, you know? So make sure that, you know, things are lining up to how you want your future to be. And also, I feel like you guys will maybe represent it with a lot of options. So, like, really weigh out the good and the bad 
and understand what's good for you. Also, be mindful of the people who are around you. Not everyone is good, you know? You know, um, I hate to say that, but just have your little, like, if your radar goes off around certain people, then just keep a close eye out on them, you know, like, but don't make any sudden moves. But with a magician, this talks about actions speak louder than words. You have to network yourself. You have to talk good about yourself. And um, either to yourself or like with other people, you know. And just understand that things need patience. But it's up to you to really, like I said, network yourself. And, you know, get yourself out there. Like if you want a new position, if you want better for yourself, do it. It starts with you. So, yeah, try to have a good week this week, my Geminis, and hopefully I'll see you guys next week. Bye.